Good morning. I've got some gifts. The new Power Caddy Touch, and yeah, thank you, Power Caddy, for dropping it off. I'm going to be using this on the course when I finally get back out there playing. I'm looking forward to it more than I could possibly tell you. <laughs> How good is this US Open Callaway uh, tour bag, by the way? This is so so cool. Mm. I may have to put a call into Callaway. <laughs> More about that ball flying uh, a lot further than it did yesterday with uh, the heavy atmosphere we had. Look at this for an absolutely beautiful day today. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's probably, it sounds a little bit silly, but it feels a lot more like summer now. It's just like, oh, beautiful. It brings a smile to my face. Also, had a very interesting Skype call last night which could bring an even bigger smile to my face, but it's not fully confirmed yet. It should get full confirmation by Monday, Tuesday this week. And yeah, I might be on, might be on my travels again very, very soon. This is one good looking coaching bay. It has to be said. I'm very, very, very happy with this. This is the kind of thing that makes me smile. Wall is kind of starting to fill up as well, quite nicely. If I, just need to keep remembering to uh, ask people to sign it. <laughs> Did even wave. Right, home time. Uh, loads of stuff to do tonight. Gotta go get a card for Father's Day though. Need to do that first. That's the most important thing. We're making some notes based on your suggestions about the quest for the Open next year. Uh, so 24 putts or less, winning PGA Langs event, a hole in one, really want to do that one. Uh, achieving 90% fairways in reg, 90% greens in reg. I'm gonna, that's a working figure, that's on a kind of a competition round. Uh, compete in a Euro Pro event. Maybe some interesting news on that. But for now, I'm going to the gym. Because I need to get fit and I need to look good for something which is happening, well, obviously the Open, but for more vain reasons. Have the next week. Right guys, it's two hours until Rick tees off. So I'm going to set off, I'm going to get up to Fairhaven and I'm going to cheer him on. I'm going to use this vlog as basically a way to just give updates throughout the day and get this video out hopefully tonight on mon tonight Monday. Just to let you guys know exactly what's going on. You may already know if you kind of follow us on Twitter and Instagram and everything else, but oh, I'm excited. I'm actually, I'm obviously gutted to be playing, but I'm really excited and nervous as well. Just hope he sticks a good round in and everyone kind of coming to support Rick today really gets behind him as well. It's going to be quite a few people turning up to actually watch. Right, let's go. I might need my water, Bruce. It's a little bit grey. Just need to make a very quick stop. It's going to keep me fueled for the next few hours. Three shots in there. Mm -hmm. So we've arrived. Can't wait to see him play. Now, if you can hold this one, Rick, it'd look really, really good. Oh, yeah. yeah, just before, this would be awesome. Terrible bubble. Everyone saw it. How are you feeling, bud? All right, not too bad. Are these all here for you? Uh, a lot of people have said hello. Can you imagine uh, when you see everyone there just gets up? <laughs> <laughs> right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna be following Rick all the way around, just doing little clips. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. 
chase it. back on the tee at this par five. We're just over halfway around, so we just played the, the tenth, the par three, so we, Rick. Um, five over currently, after 10 holes. Putting okay, the birdie push just haven't dropped. He's got re really unlucky on a couple of occasions in kind of fairway bunkers and stuff. So hopefully there's birdies on this back nine, there is. And it looks like at this moment, because the conditions are so tough, possibly about level or even one over might actually get through so fingers crossed we can find some par five this one next hole the 11th still got a chance still got a chance and the people who've come out to watch by the way so many it's been absolutely awesome not sure where that one's gone but no it's fine it's down fine -ish. come on It's the end of a long day and we need some hydration. Rick needs an off <laughs> our face. <laughs> Does it, it spoils the effect when you're smiling. <laughs> so quick quick thoughts, we'll do a full recap vid tomorrow. Yeah, um, you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed the process of, of trying to do it. And in fairness, my game is a long way short of it. It doesn't hold up to pressure like it was today. It, it truth be told so a lot to learn from it but I did enjoy it even though it sometimes didn't look like it did. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for everyone if anyone's watching this vlog who came and walked around the thousands of people that walked around that wouldn't, wouldn't you say Pete oh I'd, I'd say tens tens of thousands uh, thanks very much for your support sorry I didn't get a chance to buy you all a drink I would have loved to have literally just put an empty bar up, an open bar up there <laughs> yeah you love, love to put the empty bar <laughs> I have just put an open bar up there if, you, if you're still around please do come and uh, fill it it'll last the next 10 minutes so okay I'll be quick on the upload then <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a full full recap video um, tomorrow uh, so stay tuned for that but for now just gonna just chill out and have a drink and enjoy the sunshine ain't that right mess oh, yes. are you old enough to drink that no okay yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> So anyone who actually shoots in the 80s open qualifying, this is how they have to get back to the car. It's actually in the <laughs> RNA rules. I'd want to. Well, well, you got a bank, you got a bank. <laughs> back home, man, that was that was a long day. That was it was tough. I, I really feel for Rick. It was I mean from a personal standpoint, I was obviously disappointed. You know the whole planning for this year and not being able to play and all the rest of it and this morning you know i felt pretty bad but 
when I got there, saw everyone who turned out for Rick, and it just made me, I don't know, it made me happy. It made me, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it really kind of lifted my spirits. Just to see everyone there supporting Rick, and Rick didn't play well today, but he, you know, he said he, was, he will say himself, we're doing a, a full recap video tomorrow, and he kind of said, just after around on social media, he just really got very nervous about so many people watching him, and he, he didn't play his normal game. And he just couldn't quite, yeah, he just couldn't quite get it going. And it's it's all a learning experience. That's the thing. I mean, Rick's never played in front of that many people. I've never played in front of that many people. So I wouldn't know how I would have coped with that. And it's all a learning curve, definitely. And like I said, we're going to do a full, full recap tomorrow. And then maybe kind of reveal a few plans for kind of next year as well. As a little sweetener, though, just to leave, did get confirmation today that next week, I uh, think from Sunday through to the Thursday, I'm going to be in New York, which is cool. <laughs> so doing some filming over there with The Whistle and The Golf Channel, which is pretty damn cool. But I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to tell you more about it. We just need a few more confirmation of a few more kind of details. Just watching England in the background. Um... A few more details just to make sure of everything but yeah that's going to be super super exciting so commiserations to rick it's yeah it, it's hard when you kind of put yourself out there and when it doesn't quite work out but yeah next year we're going to be doing it again but it's going to be bigger it's going to be better and once more we're going to be putting up putting ourselves out there i think that's one of the things that kind of rick really really kind of felt and maybe just struggled with a with a little bit today it was just the fact there's obviously a lot of pressure on from kind of everyone it's weird isn't it how people wishing someone good luck and being there to support would actually add pressure rather than leave it but it did and it and it's a it was a strange one and I'd, I'd feel for him i really really do i don't know how i would have coped in that situation hopefully next year i'll get a chance to find out um it's all a learning curve it's all a learning experience we're going to come back bigger, better and stronger from this 100%. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, everyone, for supporting Rick in this. Thank you, everyone, for supporting me as well throughout the whole year. And thank you for your kind messages regarding the injury. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing few weeks. I'm really looking forward to it. it it's weird. It feels almost like... It feels like almost the year's over. It's like a big kind of project is done and now it's just moving on and... And getting it going again. I'm really excited. Really excited again, which is great. So, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all the other social media platforms as well. And get yourself prepped for some pretty big videos coming up.